today we are going to discuss about uh, verification of superposition theorem the first we know the statement of superposition theorem what is the statement of superposition theorem Let's suppose uh, this is the circuit to verify the superposition theorem okay. any linear active bilateral network consists of more than two independent sources okay consists of more than two independent sources in that case the response in any one of this branch the response in any one of this branch is equal to the algebraic sum of responses due to individual source acting alone okay now while finding the individual responses one source is short circuited and at a time one source is acting in the circuit and we are finding the individual responses due to these sources and finally we are adding the total response then we are getting the response in this 1 kilo ohm resistor okay now once again the statement of superposition theorem in any linear active bilateral network is consist of more than one independent source the response in any one of the branch is equal to the algebraic sum of responses due to each independent source acting alone okay now and this is the response when the both the sources are acting when both the sources are acting we are find the response in this 1 kilo ohm resistor next case and we are short circuiting second source and by replacing the short circuit voltage is zero and we are considering only vs1 source okay now and we are finding the response in same branch and next case and vs1 we are making vs1 short circuited with the help of vs2 we are finding the response okay now and here also we are getting another response by adding the response individual responses from vs1 and vs2 we are getting this total response okay now this is the explanation of superposition theorem apparatus required for this experiment first we required on regulated power supply it consists of two channels channel 1 and channel 2 these are the terminals for channel 1 and these are the terminals for channel 2 okay now in each channel three terminals current limit voltage ports voltage fine always this current limit should be in maximum position in both the channels and voltage ports voltage fine are in minimum position at the starting okay now before switching the supply we are verifying that this current limit should be maximum voltage ports voltage fine should be minimum okay now by using these two we are applying the voltage okay now we are considering two sources here and uh, one ammeter digital ammeter 0 to 200 milliamps and we require three resistors to conduct this experiment this is the breadboard okay now first 1.5 kilo ohm resistor and 2.2 these two are connected in series and at this point ammeter positive is connected okay now first i am taking 1.5 kilo ohm resistor i am connecting here okay at the end of at the end of 1.5 kilo ohm resistor 2.2 is connected i am taking 2.2 kilo ohm resistor i am connecting at the end of 1.5 see and for same point ammeter positive is connected same point this is the ammeter positive it is connected here now at 1.3 terminals are connected 1.5 and 2.2 and ammeter positive okay next for 1.5 kilo ohm resistor first end is connected to vs1 positive this is the channel 1 this positive is connected at 1.5 kilo ohm resistor and at 2.2 first end is connected to channel 2 positive sorry positive positive is connected at 2.2 end okay now and next and i'm taking one one kilo ohm resistor it is connected anywhere in the breadboard just i am connecting here one kilo ohm resistor and ammeter negative is connected at one point of resistor 1 kilo ohm see here this is the ammeter negative ammeter negative is connected here and see in the circuit diagram and vs1 negative resistor 1 end and vs2 negative all are connected at common point and vs1 negative and vs2 negative these are connected to resistor end 
to supply negatives are connected at 1 kilo ohm end vs2 negative and vs1 negative this is the connection of superposition theorem okay now we are switch on the regulated power supply switch on the regulated power supply first in channel 1 we are applying 6 volts okay now, with the help of these terminals we are applying 6 volts Next, in channel 2, just shifted this terminal to channel 1 to channel 2. Okay, now. and now bearing this terminal to apply channel 2 voltage. And this is 12 volts in channel 2. By bearing this, we are applying 12 volts in channel 2. In channel 1 we are applying 6 volts, okay. in channel 2 we are applying 12 volts. The response in 1 kilo ohm resistor is 4.5 amperes and theoretically we are getting 4.42 okay, and approximately it is equal to 4.5. Okay, this is the first step when both the sources are active. Okay, now we are making one source short circuited and find the response with the help of another source and uh, next we are short circuiting this one and find the response with the help of this source when adding these two responses we are getting it is equal to the total response okay. when vs1 source is acting alone okay now by replacing vs2 by short circuit okay now and see here to make vs2 short circuit in short circuit voltage is zero then reduce in channel 2 voltage to zero and in channel 1 we are applying 6 volts okay now this is the first source and note down this reading and next the source value is 10 in channel 1 we are applying 10 volts and note down the current uh, corresponding response okay now and up to next 16 18 same procedure okay 16 volts Note on the corresponding response 5.1 milli amperes. Last one is next case 2. Yeah. See here, and only VS2 source is acting, and VS1 is replaced by short circuit. VS2 is acting, VS1 is replaced by short circuit. Means if VS1 total 0 short circuit voltage and shift this to channel 2 okay now in channel 2 first we are applying 12 volts yeah. by bearing this one we are applying 12 volts in channel 2 okay now note on the corresponding response and same 15 volts, 22 volts and 24 volts. Note on the corresponding response and adding these two individual responses. Adding these two responses when VS1 is acting alone and VS2 is acting alone. Add these two responses, we are getting total response in the 1 kilo ohm resistor. Okay now. And same process. And when VS1 is acting alone and we are getting the response 1 point 94 and when vs2 is acting alone we are getting the response 2.49 okay now and then the total response which is equal to 4.43 by adding these two individual response which is equal to the 
when both the sources are acting we are getting the response 4.42 and then same it is equal to the total response then superposition theorem is verified